Hello, Dr. Eastwell here on a sunny evening at Teen Ant in Prestatin uh, to tell you about a new exciting gizmo that we've got at the surgery and that's this pod here which gives automated measurements of blood pressure, pulse, height and weight. And the great thing about it is it automatically inputs those measurements into your medical record and that enables us to uh, follow up things like changes to blood pressure medications or if the blood pressure is a bit on the high side we can monitor it on further occasions to get a better idea of how it is but without needing to use healthcare assistant appointments or other staff appointments that could then be used for other patients for, for other purposes such as phlebotomy or diabetes checks etc. So you may get a request to come in and use this and I just wanted to demonstrate how easy it is to use. It's all automated and it's a case of coming in I'm using the touch screen here. Ask you to remove your shoes. I won't do that for demonstration purposes. You don't have to do that if it's if you've got very thin soled shoes on. Uh, if you clearly if you've got heels or quite thick soled shoes, then removing them would be an advantage. You put your agenda in. I'm going to use a test patient for this particular thing. So it's July the 19th and 19. 38. Uh, this only works if you're a registered patient at HPI, so it won't work if uh, you're registered elsewhere. And you put the first few digits, uh, first few letters, sorry, of your surname in. It asks a few standard questions related to your medical uh, background and asks about uh, activity, uh, smear test. There may be other questions depending on uh, what's in your medical records that may need asking things like alcohol consumption, uh, for example. So you stand on the monitor and then you press the appropriate button as to whether it's the blood pressure, height and weight, or height and weight only. I'm sorry, it won't do just your blood pressure. You have to have your height and weight checked uh, as much as we may not want that always to be checked. So we press the button. Stand still and upright. And follow the automated Measuring prompts. Measuring your weight. Measuring your height. Error in the measurement. Press the green key. Stand still and upright. Measuring your weight. Measuring your height. And sometimes Insert it does give a bit of a glitch. And lean your left wrist without watch in the cuff as shown in the picture. Next, it's a case of putting your hand into the machine. It's not Relax. going to slice it off. It's not going to injure if it. If you wish to stop the measurement, press the red key. Measuring your weight. Measuring your height. Measuring your height. It's a bit uncomfortable. Relax. It is Don't tight, talk. but not if excessively. You wish to stop the measurement, press the red key. Ignore the readings on the screen as it's measuring it, because it will look like you've got an incredibly high blood pressure, which you haven't. So when I first did this, I thought I had a blood pressure over 200, but it wasn't. It was about 120. And there we go, 131 over 78, that's not bad. At the end of it, it will print a ticket, which you can take for your records if you wish to. From the bottom here, and that gives you the uh, measurements for your reference. It also gives you a measurement on the screen to tell you what your blood pressure, pulse, weight, height and bo uh, body mass index were, an indication of whether that's a healthy uh, body mass index as well. So overall, very easy to use uh, and hopefully you'll find it. So if you have any problems with it, uh, let one of the staff know. One thing that I didn't mention, which I should have done right at the start, is there'll be a box of uh, clean surface wipes. So when you come to use it, if you could please pick one of the wipes up and use it just to wipe around the inside of the blood pressure cuff um, so that uh, it, it's all sterile uh, for, for obvious reasons. Thank you.